Hi guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Apache Web Server on OpenVMS. So I have the Apache kit uh, placed in a local folder here. And then to install I will issue the uh, standard product installation command. And the installation begins. Now I'll see if the product is installed correctly. So I'll see product, show product, CSWS. The uh, product is installed correctly and uh, next we'll see that uh, no Apache processes are running yet since I haven't started them. Yeah, so the next step is configuration and to begin it I'll scroll up and grab this command right here. I'll run this command and uh, for now I'll provide the uh, default options. This configuration is required to set up the Apache account and uh, set relevant file permissions. So the configuration is complete and now we move on to starting Apache. So we'll take the Apache startup command from here and we'll run it. And now we'll see that the Apache processes come up. Now we'll quickly see if Apache is accepting request. I'll type in the machine's IP and the default page comes up. Now we'll see how to configure and host files on Apache. So to do that we'll first shut Apache down and uh, then edit the Apache configuration file that is called httpd.conf. So we'll open the configuration file and we'll search for the keyword document root. So there it is. So uh, right now the document root, the directory under which our hosted files are kept is now pointing at apache dollar root hg docs. Uh, we'll comment this out and we'll create our own uh, document root to something let's say uh, hosted files once this change is done we'll close the file and come out now this directory hosted files doesn't exist right now so we'll have to create it in the same location apache dollar root hosted files So once this is done, I'll copy over uh, an HTML boilerplate that I had to uh, our newly created directory hosted files. Now I'll edit this uh, test.html, uh, the static HTML document that we have. and I'll make changes into it say adding uh, this is a static web page I'll save this file and 
and I'll see if any of the Apache processes are running or if the Apache is up. So I'll have to start Apache up again using the startup command. And this will bring up the Apache processes. Now we can quickly go see if the if our new test.html is working or not. So there it is, the new page is accessible and that's the end of the video. If you liked it or would want to watch more, please let us know in the comments.